As for that, now contractors and suppliers owed by the national government will have to wait a little longer for payment of their dues as only a paltry 10 billion shillings has been allocated in the 2024-2025 budget to settle the debt. Budget Committee Chairman Didi Nyoro says suppliers and contractors could not be budgeted for as verification of the 641 billion shillings pending bill was still ongoing. Let's get more from our very own Stephen Little. These books, this is just a component of the budget. As the clock ticks towards Thursday afternoon when the budget will be unveiled to the country, a cloud of uncertainty hangs on those who have supplied goods and services to the national government. As for yet another year, their payment claims will be subjected to further scrutiny. So far, the Pending Bills Verification Committee, chaired by former Auditor General Edward Oko, submitted its first report that cleared 110 billion shillings worth of pending bills. But Budget and Appropriation Chair Ndinde Nyoro says the bills will have to undergo further verification. As such, the committee has opted to establish a special funding bills kitty with an initial allocation of 10 billion shillings. And in our budget for 24-25, we have a specific budget line we are calling pending bills. We have started that kitty with 10 billion shillings simply because the verification process is ongoing. And therefore there was no need to allocate too much money when the verification process is still ongoing. But we have already started with an allocation of 10 billion. Definitely that figure will be enhanced every year as we progress. The Budget Committee says it has put irreducible minimums in the budget that includes hiring of all the JSS intern teachers on a permanent and pensionable terms. We have put 18.7 billion Kenya shillings additional to TSC and we have requested TSC to hire all the JSS interns, all the 46,000, and hire them on permanent and pensionable terms. And we are requesting TSC not to wait up to January next year to confirm them, to confirm our brothers and sisters who are currently interning or on internship. We are requesting them to bring the date uh, uh, closer. The minority side, however, says the funding of the proposed budget is punitive to the taxpayers. Increasing the prices of commodities because of purporting to want to collect more in form of revenue as a government is really an absurdity is causing a lot of trauma and told suffering. The taxes as envisaged in the bill uh, need to be uh, scrapped and that uh, we go back to the uh, default setting. As a matter of fact, the finance bill of last year already uh, caused enough burden as Treasury awaits to unveil the budget Thursday afternoon, the recurrent expenditure vote remains a headache. The Senate, on its part, has mounted ceilings on the expenditure by counties on recurrent expenditure. With the 2024-2025 financial year budget set to be unveiled Thursday, what remains now is prudence from both levels of government, that is the national government and the county governments, to ensure taxpayers' money are put to good use. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV. Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.